it can be a little hectic at the beginning, but we take it in stride and get through it. When it comes to COVID-19, we talk a lot about the tests and the frontline workers who tirelessly spend their days performing them. But what about the volunteers who spend their free time making sure you feel safe at one of our many testing sites during this global pandemic? I've been volunteering since the end of June. Christine LaCroix was permanently laid off when COVID-19 hit. She says she could either sit at home and lose to the pandemic or fight back. I knew right away that this was something I wanted to do to help out and do my part for our, our city. I enjoy it. I just generally feel good about it, making sure we're all safe in this province and that's what's important. Every shift, LaCroix goes eye to eye with people who may be anxious or afraid that they've contracted the virus. She's the first person they meet at the door. I just talk to them and let them know uh, what it's like to get tested, I assure them that it's not as bad as it seems. A few people have misconception of uh, how the test is done and, and what it does to you. So we've I've had to calm a few people down, like, no, that's been over exaggerated so it's not as worse as you think it is and then I see them leave and they're like yeah you're right it's not as bad as you, th you said it w they thought it would be. Despite volunteering at a facility where potential cases congregate LaCroix says she's never once feared for her health. That's the same for Jay Anderson a volunteer of four months who helps direct traffic at the drive through testing site. It's a little bit like stepping off of a diving board you get up to the edge and you need some little thing to make it take the plunge into the water and in my case it was my wife volunteered. Anderson says it's a fulfilling role evident by the mystery person who left behind a message of kindness. When people leave they give you a wave. They sort of tip their hat or something like that. They say thank you. Anderson says as much as he tries he believes people still find the most solace in unity. I feel good that I'm helping out but I think Probably more reassuring for most people is the number of cars here that are going through. It's, they're not alone in the world type of thing in, in wanting to have a test and see how they're doing. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.